the paper discusses the importance of cross-cultural adaptation of research instruments before they are used in new settings. The process involves investigating conceptual and item equivalents, conducting forward and back translations, pretesting, and adjusting accordingly. The example given is an attitudinal instrument that was adapted from Australian English to Norwegian for a study in 2007. The original scale failed confirmatory analysis, but a new two-factor scale was identified and found valid in the new setting. The paper emphasizes the importance of ensuring that concepts within an instrument are equal between the original and target language, time, and context. If the described stages in the cross-cultural adaptation process had been omitted, the findings would have been misleading, even if presented with apparent precision. This article was authored by Capel Horn John R.M., Giersing Lin, and Clausen Thomas. We are article.tv, links in the description below.